Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got another gaming video because I've been trying to play catch up on my backlog and I'm finally beating some games. Uh, right now I'm starting Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, which is pretty good so far. It's basically Far Cry. Far Cry of Big Blue Cats. Uh, but we're not really here to talk about Avatar. We're here to talk about Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1, um, pretty good. I've been playing Mortal Kombat since I was a kid. Um, a young, young, young lad. Uh, I remember playing Mortal Kombat 2 on the Super Nintendo when it came out, and I never really looked into the lore of Mortal Kombat, and it is kind of interesting. Uh, I kind of feel like they started focusing more on story whenever they did the first reboot with uh, Mortal Kombat. I think it was 2009. Um, it's where they basically rebooted the whole series, and that's where you got all these crazy X-ray moves, crazy brutal fatalities, uh, which they've always had fatalities. Like, Mortal Kombat is a highly controversial game. Uh, there's even been court cases where uh, old white dudes uh, are trying to be like, you can't play video games, kids. It's got some blood in it. And fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, Mortal Kombat 1, I played it on PlayStation 5, uh, first and foremost. Um, didn't play it on the Xbox, but I played it on PlayStation uh, the story, I, I usually play through the story. Um, I don't play a lot of the multiplayer, uh, unless it's like um, couch co-op or something, which is a couch co-op. This is couch fighting. Uh, I haven't really got to dive much into that, so this review is mainly just going to be the gameplay as well as the story. And I'm not going to spoil the story because I don't want to be a dick, so I'm not going to do that. But I do want to say, uh, as far as Mortal Kombat goes, uh, this is a... Soft reboot, sort of. Uh, if you guys played through Mortal Kombat 11, uh, especially the uh, DLC, I forget what that's called, uh, which I played through it, you know, that was actually fighting Chronica and changing the time where Liu Kang basically became uh, the master of time, the god of time, or whatever. Um, he becomes Goku, basically. <laughs> actually, not. It's actually really cool. I like, you should play Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, the stories for the newest Mortal Kombat games is actually pretty decent. You don't really see that in a lot of fighting games, but they're actually pretty well fit together, like put together as a whole. A lot of action set pieces, like in the actual cinematics, which there's a lot. I think I beat this game in roughly four or five hours, give or take. Um, my wife actually watched it because Mortal Kombat's one of her favorite games. Uh, she likes the movies, even Annihilation, um, which. You know, I, I think Annihilation is fun, but it's one of her favorite movies. And I, you know, I'll watch it with her even. Yeah, I, I like Annihilation because it's campy and I like campy uh, early <laughs> video game movies for some reason. And I think Annihilation's OK. It's OK if you like Annihilation. I'm not going to tell you not to like, like Annihilation. I just got to say one thing because it'll be you who shall die. Um, That's. From Annihilation. I'm probably paraphrased that completely fucking wrong. Um, the gameplay is tight as ever. Uh, feels great on a controller. Uh, I've not, like I said, I've never really played fighting games on PC, but on a controller is where it's at. I'm, I'm assuming if you get one of those uh, arcade style controllers, um, that would be even better. Um, everything feels good. I didn't notice any bugs whatsoever uh, in my gameplay. And like I said, I, I played through the whole game in about five hours. Uh, I played through the whole story, um, and it had a really cool, cool ending, sort of. It leaves it open for either another expansion or another game, Mortal Kombat, whatever the fuck they're going to call it next. Um, I don't think they're going to be like Mortal Kombat 2, 2. Uh, no, no, I'm sure they're going to have something they're going to call it. But there is going to be a sequel to this because it's actually, you know, it's been a long-running series, so... It does print money, so I'm assuming this game is going to do great in sales, especially on uh, these pro gaming tours, the fighting game tours. Uh, what what's the uh, the big one? I forget the name. I think it's like E something. I you let me know in the comments. Um, graphically, it looks great. It looks great. Uh, facial animations, top notch. Uh, they've been doing good with facial animations and stuff since I don't know, maybe Mortal Kombat. Actually. Probably Injustice 2 probably had some of the best facial animations I've ever seen in a game uh, until recently. Um, 
and I think Alan Wake 2 was probably that, and we already gushed about Alan Wake 2. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's gory, it's fun, it's got Megan Fox in it for some reason. Uh, she's there. <laughs> not very good. Like, you can tell she's not a voice actor. Uh, she plays the vampire, I forgot her name. I want to call her Vampira for some reason. Um, but it has some really cool stuff in it. Like, especially, like, you can call in people, like, similar to what you've seen in Injustice or... Uh, I'm not Injustice. Marvel Con Mar Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or 3, where you can call in side characters to come in and do something while you're uh, fighting them. And that's pretty cool. Uh, it works really well. Um, the unlocks are cool. You actually unlock some stuff like cosmetics through the story gameplay. Um, I'm a pussy, so I played it on easy <laughs> because I'm not good at fighting games. And I usually, like I said, I usually play Mortal Kombat for the story, so... If you're looking for somebody that's like super awesome, good at Mortal Kombat, I'm not that guy. But I am here to tell you, I do play video games on easy because I like to have fun and enjoy the story. And this is one of those games I enjoyed the story, except for one fucking thing. One thing. One thing I hated about this game. The quick time events. The button mashing quick time events. I fucking hated it. Like, hated it. I felt it so many times. Um, because you don't have to just push one button. Usually it's like one button. No, it wants you to push all the face buttons. And I hated it. I couldn't stand it. Like I, I was like, please do not ever do that again. Please, never around. If you're listening, please don't ever do that. And they're going to go ahead and make a whole game of just that. Uh, don't, please. Please, God, don't do that. Um, you know, if there's an expansion that comes out to this, I'll obviously be playing it. Uh, like I said, I think it's called Aftermath. Aftermath uh, for Mortal Kombat 11. That was pretty cool. Um, you got to play some of the bad guys like uh, Shao Kahn and what whatnot. What's the other guy? I want to call him Saruman, but that's Lord of the Rings. Shang Tsung. <laughs> Saruman. It needs to be a guest character. I mean, they got Omni Man and uh, Peacemaker, uh, which I, I actually want to try out the Omni Man skin, but I'm, I don't know if I'll really justify buying the skin uh, maybe if they do like a complete package like they usually do uh, they'll do like an ultimate uh, version with everything uh, go ahead and tell you one thing um, if, if you like fatalities in Mortal Kombat this game's got some pretty creative ones um, now I've heard some pretty shitty ones with the DLC and the uh, microtransactions which we're not getting into that because I honestly don't give a fuck like I don't want to play it like just because of that, I don't want to play this microtransaction thing that WB is all about. Um, I don't know if it's... I think it's mainly cosmetics, which I'm okay with that. But if it's like something that's going to make you better at the game, which I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I'm cool with owning like an expansion or buying some skins every once in a while. I still play Fortnite, but... Um, WB seems to go a little bit too far in their monetization and i'm sure you wouldn't disagree with that um good example would have been whenever the shadow of war for the lord of the rings game and they wanted you to pay for um uh ogres and goblins and stuff like that to increase your odds of beating the game it was a single player game for fuck's sake like really like wb is trash man they're trash all the time but anyways, guys, I want to let you go uh, before I start rambling. But Mortal Kombat 1, definitely worth playing. Uh, again, probably this, this year's been stacked. Uh, so 2024, if it's less stacked, maybe it's a good idea to go through your backlog, which that's what I plan on doing. So I'll see you guys with some more reviews soon.